What up, it's your boy Slim Thugger, and when you want to hear the hip-hop news, everything that's going down in hip-hop, you got to go to Hip Hop Wide, baby, that's what it is, hiphopwide.com, man, Boss Hog Outlaw. What up, y'all? I'm Dewan with HipHopWire.com. Holding it down with my man, Slim Thugger. What's up, my dude? Slow motion like the ocean. All right, I got you. He said slow motion like the ocean. So you've been at, you've been missing for a minute. What you been up to? Fill us in. Man, it's just really I've been doing a lot of records. Like, you know, I did the last album, Boss of All Bosses. You know what I'm saying? And it really just ain't go, you know, everywhere. It just stayed kind of in the southern region. So I've still been doing me and doing good. You know what I'm saying? It sold like 160,000 independents. So I've just been doing that, man. A lot of people, you know, who used to see me, like, with the already platinum successes, they just don't see it everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still grinding and getting to it. All right, cool. So that brings us to the new album, The Thug Show. Talk to me about that. Was there some kind of a, a place in your mind? You was at some place in your life when you recorded that? Talk to us about it. I mean, it's just like you said. Like, a lot of people think I've been gone since I already had platinum or whatever. But like I said, the last album, was, it was, I saw like over 400,000 singles, over 160 independent, you know what I'm saying? So on this album here, I just really wanted to give them the best of both worlds. I wanted to do records, you know, like... I already platinum and uh, you know I represent for the hometown too so I want to satisfy both ends of the fans you know what I'm saying so now with this album I think I did a good job of mixing it up as you can see I'm out here on the east coast you know promoting now you know so hopefully this one will go widespread too. And is there any standout tracks on that one? Every album, there's a fan favorite that everybody bumping. What is that for you? It's crazy. I think uh, I think just off of uh, controversy, a lot of people talking about the one with uh, me and Rick Ross, Lex Luger producing the style, how we do it. You know, that's what everybody been talking about in the club. But, you know, I've been getting a lot of good feedback on the whole album, man, so I'm just happy about it. And with that track, how did that collaboration come about? Was there a story, a backstory to how it all came together? Yeah, actually, um, it was like after the little um, shit went, went around or whatever they thought we was beefing or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He hit me up and was like, hey man, that shit was old, you know what I'm saying? That record was old. Because every time I see Ross, it was number love. So we just, you know, it was just nothing. It wasn't no real big issue or nothing. It was just minor bullshit. So we squashed that shit. Then knocked out two tracks the same night. Leaked one, shot a video for one. And this the one that's for my album right here, man. So, you know, it's just bosses getting to the money. Showing them how we do it. Got it. And you from the South, Texas. You know, everybody putting on for the South. We got you. We got Ross. We got Flo Rida. The list goes on. And everybody always talks about New York making a comeback, this, that, and third. What do you think it is that's about the South that makes it so successful in the hip hop game? Because it's going, it's been going like ten years strong. The South is real big, man. You know, it's just real big. Like you know, so many, like you say, it's, you got Texas, you got Florida, you know, Georgia Island. The South is just so big, and there's so many different areas. And then you got New York, just New York, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I think the South gonna stay hot because there's so many different places. You got Atlanta just gonna pull, kill them forever. And you got Miami popped off, you got the Texas moving, there's just so many different places. I think that's why the South stay hot, because y'all y'all can sit an hour at the South, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what it is. At hip hop today, the the modern day landscape, I, I think one credit to hip hop is that it's diverse. Yeah. You got you know uh, Cali Swag District right. teaching them how to duggy, but you also got Nicki Minaj putting on for females. What's your thoughts on the present day uh, state of hip hop? I think it's good, man. I think it's definitely different than it used to be. It ain't just like everybody buying CDs like they used to or nothing like that. But I think with the internet and then with, like you said, with the diversity, it's good, man. You got young kids who are doing a little new, it seems like that's the new thing with the younger crowd, the dance stuff going on, which I ain't hating on, you know what I'm saying, which is all good. And you got, you know, like you say, Nicki Minaj represent for the females. I don't think we ever had a girl come through and represent so hard. It just had this following, it's strong, it's just crazy. And then you got underground cats doing their thing, you got Atlanta doing it. It's, it's real, it's widespread, man, so it's kind of, it's kind of like harder to spread, you know, one type of all, all over because there's so many different styles now, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cali might be on the uh, Cali Swag type shit, Texas might be on the Slim Thug type shit, so it's kind of hard to spread it all around. Man. 
And I, I want to change gears a little bit and talk a little bit to you about the music and the music business. Now we know there's the music and that's the creative, that's the fun side, that's what people do this for, the passion's there. But you also have the music business where it comes in a lot of bullshit and a lot of politics. How do you walk the tightrope between the music and the music business? It's hard, man. It's hard. And I think that's why a lot of people go, man, because this shit is stressful. Like, if you weak, you probably ain't going to survive in this shit. You can probably wrap your ass up, but if you can't stand the, the business of it, because it'll make you hate it, man. You know, a lot of the bullshit you got to go through, a lot of politics. You can have good music, but bad politics and lose everything, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the, it is what it is. My, my personal thing is, man, I just don't really just let shit, I'm really emotionally detached. I don't put my feelings into nothing. I look at shit like it's business, you know what I'm saying? So when I go deal with people, you know, I put my heart in the motherfucking say, Slim, you trash, you garbage. All I know is, man, I live good. I, my house paid for, my car is paid out. You can't tell me that, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting paid, so I got fans, so I'm good. So, you know, that's that's what you got to do, man. You got to take your heart out of it, you know, when it comes to the business and understand it's business. You might be emotionally detached, but I'm sure you've run into some challenges on the business yeah. end. What's the biggest lesson learned or that challenge that you encountered that's taught you the most? Man, I done learned so many, but uh, I just really like, I, I say, being on a major label, like, you know, just being on a major label and uh, not being able to do what the fuck you want to do and having them in control of your shit. Like, you know, how you sitting there still in a month, but you, I was on the best label, Interscope, you know what I'm saying? Which, when we when it was good, it was good. They did everything right, everything was great, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I was just sitting there and I felt like I wasn't, they were moving fast enough. I don't think they really understand how to work an artist like Snump Thug, you know what I'm saying? So, I just felt like I need to be more in control of my shit, man. I want to be independent, I want to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it, you know what I'm saying? That's what I learned. I just really want to be, I'm a boss, and I, that's how I want to stay. Got you, and the new year is right around the corner. What's in store for 2011? Oh, uh, man, I got a lot of shit, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, uh, I got with Bruce Willis on this vodka called Sobieski, man. That shit, that cool. We be doing a lot of stuff with that. I just dropped a new app, a Slim Thug app. Go download that for free, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got the Boss House Outlaws lined up. I got j Dog, Wes. You know, we got Servant Click 3, Dre Day, a lot of people, man. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna stay around with us. And everybody who supports Slim Thug, whether it's from the beginning or if they, you know, became a fan along the way, you got a message for them? I appreciate everything you're doing, man. You know, if you ever bought a Slim Thug CD, been to a Slim Thug show, man, I appreciate you, man. And, you know, I want to meet you. You know, we take pictures, whatever. It's that real, you know what I'm saying? And just stay down. I'm going to keep trying to satisfy my fans. By all means, man, the Thug show is stolen right now. Slim Thug, again, the, the album, The Thug Show is in store. My man, Slim Thug, and for all the hip-hop news, entertainment news, you can check out hiphopwise.com. Thanks, Slim.